This is Valerie from HowToGrowGrainVegetables.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about the artificial media I use to root all of my cuttings and or seeds in the nursery. The first ingredient I want to talk about is peat moss. Peat moss is a wonderful natural organic ingredient that's mined out of peat bogs. A lot of peat bogs occur in Canada, and we get a lot of our peat moss from Canada. It is a natural resource that has taken millions and millions of years to form and it's a dwindling resource. So that's why peat moss is getting a little bit more and more expensive. Peat moss is a natural sponge, holds an incredible amount of water and we need that. This is rehydrated peat moss. Uh, this was four ounces. When I first started out, I rehydrated this and you can see how much water it can hold, just like a sponge. So it can hold three to four times its own weight in water, which is a wonderful thing. And we're gonna moderate that so we don't saturate our cuttings and seeds so they're just swimming in a big pile of water. Another ingredient we use is called perlite. And perlite is expanded silica. It's very light and what it adds is it lightens up the media and adds the component of oxygen so oxygen can get to the roots. One thing about perlite that I don't like is you can see it's very light and it flies away. So an ingredient that I'm using increasingly more and more is this. This is also a naturally mined ingredient called pumice. Pumice doesn't fly away. Pumice adds lots of surface area, traps lots of oxygen, roots really love it, and it has some interesting and unique antimicrobial properties. So I'm thinking this pumice thing might actually replace the perlite for me in the future. I like it a lot more. The next ingredient you see in a lot of artificial mixes, nursery mixes and things like that, is this. And this is called vermiculite. And vermiculite is expanded mica. And it's like thousands and thousands and thousands of layers that trap water and trap air. So it's in between peat moss and perlite. This is called vermiculite. Additionally, some mixes use sand. Sand is a great filler. Sand uh, allows water to percolate through, allows air to percolate through, but it makes the soil very, very heavy. So you gotta watch how much sand you use. So sand, peat moss, pumice, perlite, and vermiculite. With just these few ingredients, we can make every single kind of artificial soil to grow anything under the, under the sun. Uh, one other thing I want to add, if you're going to buy sand and you go to your local hardware store or whatever and you buy a, like a bag of playground sand or washed plaster sand, if you don't know where it came from, if it came from the river or the ocean, wash it off first because it's going to have a lot of uh, dissolved salts, residual salts on there. So wash it off, get rid of all those salts before you use it. That's a good tip. All right, so we're going to take some of these and mix them up and create a media that we're going to be planting some cuttings in today. That's it. Valerie from HowToGrowPerennialVegetables.com. This is Valerie from HowToGrowPerennialVegetables.com, and I'm finished planting uh, the cuttings into the four-inch pots. So take a look. They're going to go right into the lath house. They're going to be watered, and probably in another week, they will be ready to set out into the garden. There you go. This is Valerie from HowToGrowPerennialVegetables.com.